Hello and welcome to this week's session of Queer and D, where a bunch of us get together and we play D&D for a few hours every couple of weeks. So as you probably noticed last time, we have now changed our upload schedule um, just a little bit. So we're now uploading on a Wednesday instead of a Tuesday. It's pretty much just to give me enough time to get everything edited without it being a rush and have some time for me. But anyway, that's really our only main announcement for this week. So let's jump in just to a quick recap of what happened last time to get you caught up before we jump into this one. So the session began last time with the party sitting at the main family area in the castle with drinks and refreshments to um, kind of pick themselves back up and have a rest after the battle that they had with the wyvern and the rider before. Um, they do have lots and lots of questions for the Queen, um, but she is surrounded by her young children at the moment and the new tiefling baby of the family um, is being passed around, so they agree to have the discussion later. River did head off into a corner to start working on different um, artificer... Um, what is the word I am looking for? Like the enchantments that they put in the infusions, that's it. Lots of words. Um, and before she can complete even just one of them, they do hear the sounds of fighting coming from the courtyard. Going outside, they did see multiple dead guards and another party facing them off. Asking what they want, the Queen then sends one of her guards off to get the prisoner that they brought with them. Um, and they stand there in a standoff period. However, um, the wizard of the opposite group it does set off a fireball in front of them, killing another one of the guards and injuring quite a few of them. After that, um, they then have a long in-game fight, but not really long in real time, where there's some guards that end up on the battlements, but they can't really get to or any arrows off, for one for fear of hitting the queen, and two because it all goes by so quick. Um, eventually, um, one of the enemy party does come back with the prisoner that they brought with them and they open a teleportation portal taking the body of the slain rider with them and they all leave um, with the party and the queen barely hanging on to life. The guard eventually comes back um, he did look as though he had been in a fight himself and had been knocked out. Um, they all then go back into the family room um, where they finish off their refreshments and the Queen gives them rooms for the evening before they agree to kind of reconvene in the morning so that the Queen can answer any questions that they have. Um, River stays up to finish the artificial infusions and they all head for a nice bath and some sleep. However, Mika does have a terrifying nightmare um, only to wake up um, in the room by herself but Olivia is at the window um, waiting to be let into the room. And that's where we left off with the courtyard decimation. So now, on to this one. So, you all wake up the, the next morning. Um, the palace is surprisingly quiet for what you would have expected of a palace. You don't hear Everyone anything dead. moving around or anything like that outside, but Looking at the window, it is a nice day, a um, couple of wispy blue clouds in the sky, with it being still the, the middle of summer. Is everyone in the palace dead? Right. <laughs> Why is it so quiet? Gotta say. Well, with security around here? Good lord. I think we better investigate. I'm just gonna have myself out ready to go. <laughs> so I love how I said, but what should we investigate? Why is it so quiet? No. Well, considering yesterday, they're all probably dead. They're all probably dead. <laughs> or drunk. Did we did we perform a zone of truth on them? Did we find out who was what? No, was? we didn't. No. We were two. We, we was... Nope. No, we had dinner and went to bed. Oh, that's right. I couldn't. I needed rest. Yeah, we all needed mm -hmm. rest. I mean, I think we should round everybody up and find out what the hell. Honestly. Mm. Let's get a move on. I mean, you know, obviously. <laughs> the mm. queen seemed really unsurprised by how shoddy her security was. <laughs> Maybe they can have problems for a while. Maybe. Should we? I mean, so, zone of truth on who, though? Like, 
do we like do we just need to sit down with the queen and 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 see if she'll just we can tell us what's going on in Maybe a more direct be. way or this is a good question I mean, if it was my palace and my guard had let that happen, had to be rolling this morning. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe we go out and see. Maybe she's, maybe maybe they're all outside and she's screaming at the captain of the guard. That's what I'd be well, doing. Or we'll make our way downstairs and find out. Yep. Also, this is a palace. They better have good bacon. Well, so just saying that my zone of truth. Mm -hmm. I create a magical zone that guards against deception mm -hmm. in a 15 foot radius sphere. Right. We could ask several people questions. Yeah, yeah we could so get I, several people in that zone. Mm -hmm. we just ball everybody up right there and then. Yeah. Okay. Anyhow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we gotta get out there first. So, what's up? Let's go figure it out. What the fuck's up with that? Where is everybody? Yeah. Why is it? Okay. So you all get up to go about your day gathering anything that you think that you'll need. Um, you can take all your stuff with you, you can leave it in the room, choice is up to I you. I am not leaving my weapons in my room. It wasn't me so much your weapons. I figured you'd be taking them. <laughs> um, you make your way out, but you haven't yeah. heard from Mika yet this morning. Mika hasn't come into either of the two rooms to, to talk to any of you. Hmm. I mean, she's probably still asleep. That would be... I'm on, just gonna on... lightly knock on her door. No response. And I'm gonna just go ahead and open another crack and take a peek in to see if she's still there. You see her lying on the bed, but faced away from the door. She breathing? She breathing. Make a perception check. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> who's, who's all peeking? Are we all peeking around the door? We're all peeking. It, it, you know, it's, it's just, just a like situation. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, just, it's just like cat, <laughs> river, leaf, ticks, torrin, just stacked yeah. head coming. Through. <laughs> right. Okay. So we're doing a, I got 11. a perception check. Yeah. I got 11. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Um, I got a. I got a four. Um, okay. I, I got, got 18. a nineteen. Eighteen and nineteen was that? Nineteen, yeah. All right. So, Leaf and Tex, you both look in and you see there's a slight movement of the covers going up and down. Um, with your perception checks as well, you do see that Olivia is kind of just sitting up on the top of a wardrobe off in the corner. Just keep him watch. Okay, she seems fine. She's, she's good. Let's yeah. just leave her. Let's just go. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is a door creaks shut. <laughs> okay. Um. Right. Um. I'm just gonna start heading like towards the main. I guess Hall. hallway, yeah, the hall, yeah. yeah, where the king or queen like resides, basically, like does all their stuff. Okay. Yeah. Well, you head out um to the main kind of hallway where your your kind of corridor to the guest suites laid off. Um, you just see that there's two guards standing at the door, um, at each okay. side of the door as you walk out. Okay, I'm gonna ask them if they've seen. Okay, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna speak to them. Okay. Hey. Uh, where is everyone? They are all currently at breakfast in the dining hall. I have uh, asked that you join them when you're ready. Oh, okay. Um, and how do we get there? Like, which way is the best, the quickest way to get there? Um, follow this hallway down, and it's the second door on the right. Okay, second door, second door on the right. Excellent. Right. We're going to carry on. All right. Second door on the right. <laughs> Alright, so you make your way through and you walk in and it's a a relatively cosy dining hall. Mm -hmm. Um you kinda get from the living room area that you were in as well as this dining hall that this is on this is the kind of private residence area mm -hmm. of the royal family. Um so there's just like um a large round circular table, there's kids like 
um, shouting and just like, kind of throwing food at each other and just playing and laughing while the adults are all off and kind of one side having um, a discussion. The Queen, looking at her, she doesn't look any better than she did at the end of the fight the day before, but she does look a little bit more well rested and alert, yeah. um, but she does still look quite bruised and, and bashed up. Which, given what you, you saw her take during the fight, is kind of expected. Mm. So... There's some seats left um, over in kind of the adult section away from the, the rowdy children. If you want to sit over there. Cool. Um, yeah. I'm going to like go up and like, is, I'm guessing it's kind of like a buffet kind of like style. Yeah, in the middle of the table, there's like yeah. um, big plates filled with oh, eggs, okay. bacon, toast, okay. pastries, cool. sausages, right. that kind of thing. Awesome. I'm going to just waltz over and just like grab a plate and just like pile on everything, like big beans, bacon, sausages, toast, like sky high and sort of just, <laughs> and even like put something into my mouth as well, like, and then try and like balance like the, the cutlery as well as I like. Are you are you being that person at a buffet that goes up with like three plates and all pale sky <laughs> yeah. you right now? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna, yeah. So I'm gonna have like that and then I'm just gonna like okay. sit down and just like But like I don't start like stuffing my face. I kind of do it like kind of very strategically where I like will take out my napkin, like lay it like tuck it into my collar and sort of just like prepare myself mentally and then like take up my cutlery. And then start just shoveling okay. it. <laughs> okay. Nice. All right. Are the rest of you going about any special preparations for breakfast, or, or just eating normally, or extra bacon? But other than that, yeah. But other than that, the food's great. Right. You gotta try it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a regular plate. For Are me we and sitting then. like? I'll sit at the table yeah. near the queen, so we can have a discussion with her. Yeah. The the royal kind of party. So you've got the queen, you've got the queen's husband, you've got Sir Emma Citrus, um, their partner, as well as the queen's father. Um, they're kind of the five adults who are all gathered as adult section. Um, there are some guards um, posted around. There's one guard at the door and kind of two guards at a window sort of thing. So it does look as though security has been beefed up, as it were. Good morning. Good morning, Your Majesty. I see that we have some reinforcements in today. Thankfully, we do. We managed to pull some back from, from the veil vale late last night to help step up around here. Well, you, you were quite compromised, obviously, and I, I have grave concerns about the staff that you have on now. Uh, I'd like to uh, get down to the root of what's happening and, and really have a closer tell at what, what, went, what went down yesterday. If maybe we could gather them all into one area, I can cast a spell upon them to where we can find out the truth. Any truth you are interested in discovering. Ask her why um, she hasn't... Um, mm, sorry, this food is so good. Um, ask her um, why she hasn't, like, like tended to her wound. She seems pretty like, is there not a spell that can just magically like clear all her bruises? Mm. I mean, I assume the queen just heard that. If I can, she can. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay. So Emma Citrus just turns around and says, my sister is stubbornly refusing the help of any of her clerics. Something about showing the rest of the guards, what their ineptitude will do. Oh, I mean, I get it. Also, call a cleric. Mm. <laughs> wait, we don't have one, do we? We have one. Oh, wait, we do. 
She's upstairs asleep. No, she's a druid. She's a druid. Oh, I thought we had a cleric. Not yet. <laughs> the the queen just looks and that I'm would kind be of the closest me. Thing we have to a cleric. I can do cure wounds. Same. I, I was the one who was healing you all during battle. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Okay. Literally heal herself. Well, I just want to say. I mean, no. (laughs) I mean this with the utmost respect, Your Majesty, but physician, heal thyself. (laughs) You're not like one of those doctors that believe in the COVID shot, right? (laughs) (laughs) I'm waiting until the, the meeting with the guards later on, which. If you want to cast uh, a truth spell on on the guards at that point, you're more than welcome to. Your help is much appreciated. Yes, so that, that okay. um, at that point a statement can be made to them, and after that, then my normal visage, as it were, shall be restored. That's fair. That that's fair. I mostly I just had to check in to make sure there wasn't something deeper behind you letting yourself be walk around in pain for an extra few hours also more vulnerable excellent bacon yeah excellent bacon it's so good and then i'm just like gonna take the plate up and like really no. like embarrassingly no. like no. the plate like <laughs> and stuff i'm just gonna like reach over and just like gently like push the plate back. <laughs> no you're taking the good parts of the plate hey hey, hey. It's o- it's okay. Come on now, you're just causing more of a scene. <laughs> Alright. And just shit my so body good. so I can't really see them. <laughs> and then at this point the plate flies out of my hands and it flies across the room and smashes on the floor. Nope, I jump for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm gonna Oh Lord. I'm gonna roll a D twenty as well here, just to see Based on what you roll, what happens? So roll a roll a deck save for me. This is why you I said I couldn't get us into the adult table. Mm. <laughs> yeah, a deck save. Uh, yeah, for River. Yeah. What now? A deck I save. No deck save. save. Okay, you hold can on. Catch it. And I'm rolling as well. Hold on. Oh, that's helpful. It's right down the middle. I'm rolling in. No, that's 18. Actually... What was it? 18. 18, okay. So you managed to catch it. However, Leaf had not managed to lick all of the baked bean juice off of the plate. So now you just have all this grease and baked bean juice like all over the fur in your hands. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. <laughs> because it's furry, it's like in my fur. Congealed, yep. <laughs> Maybe we should hit the baths again. Lord. <laughs> Apologies, Your Majesty. Sometimes I question our ability to sit at the adult table. I set the plate down. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'll be back. I'm going to go wash my hands. <laughs> okay. And then at uh, this point, I stand mm-hmm. up and take myself over to the kids section <laughs> of the. Uh, table okay and i sit down on the very small chair with my knees kind of like up to my face <laughs> with like just like a little like orange that you get like in breakfasts okay. let, me, let me just double check how many kids <laughs> will run that section just now that <laughs> orange is always there on the buffet all right so two uh, they're currently with five children um, and you see Princess Louise sitting over there as well as um, an, uh, a teenage male half-elf is over there as well. Cool. Hi. I'm just going to sit here with my orange. I hope you don't mind. One of the, the kids just comes over and tries to like steal bits of orange off your plate. Yeah. No, 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 my orange. <laughs> and then, and then I just take like a segment of orange and like throw it. Like, go, you're like little rats. Go. 
Uh, while I'm walking to go find a place to wash my hands, mm -hmm. I'm going to flip my coin. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> well, it's going to happen. And I detour away from wherever that is to wash my hands. And I'm just going to go back to where the fight was and just mm -hmm. kind of look around and see if maybe they dropped anything or... Honestly, I don't even know. I'm just going to go up there and I'm going to sit <laughs> and replay the whole fight in my head and I'm just going to sit there. Okay. So are you still looking for anything that's been dropped or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll take a, a, I'm going to walk around and kind of like replay where I went, where they went, and figure out what I could have done better. Okay. So looking around, roll an investigation check for me to see if you find anything. Investigation. Oh, that's Twenty-three. Sometimes I really wish I could do math in my head. Okay. So, looking around, um, you see the utter devastation of what was there. You see um, that there's a component pouch that was left behind. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks as though it's just fallen in the fray. And so you can add a component pouch. Um, looking around, it was kind of like hidden underneath one of the charred edges. Right. Kind of near the, one of the hedges that you were hiding behind. <clears throat> There's like no roses whatsoever that are left here. Um, it's just like one lowly like kind of caretaker garden person who's just out like with a wheelbarrow. Um, kind of elderly, elderly gentleman who's like lifting up some of the smaller stones and from the fountain and sticking it in the wheelbarrow to to start cleaning up what was once a beautiful courtyard. Yeah, and I'm just gonna stay there and like, kind of a little bit in my head trying to figure out like, cause if this had been something else, like we would have been dead. Like it's just, it's bothering me and it has been since the night before. So I'm just gonna stay there. Okay. The Tex and Torian, are you doing anything? <laughs> well. Um, All the thinking and orange snatching is happening. <laughs> I'm gonna ask the queen. How long do we have before this meeting with the with the guard? Mm -hmm. I have a meeting with the small council um, just after breakfast. Your insight would be appreciated in terms of the fight yesterday. After mm -hmm. that, um, probably adjourn and. Um, head out to talk to the guards at the barracks. Okay. So do we have a few minutes before? Oh yes, the, the meeting's not for another 30 minutes or so. Is it possible to, I know it's not the best strategically speaking, but even if it's just for a little bit, can we have all the guards in one place? Can we head out to the barracks? Perhaps leave a couple of us here to guard the palace and go to the barracks and question everybody. Logistically, <laughs> we kind of have do to. Need, we do need some some guards to to remain with the the rest of the family members who are not going. Honestly, you just need to do the ones poo -poo that are were there yesterday. Yeah, I don't trust any of them. No, but the ones that were there yesterday are the ones that either let this happen or didn't. Perhaps. I mean. I mean, there might be one somewhere in the mix, but you're going to get, you're going to get, if there are guards involved. I just like to be thorough. I know, but it, but also we can't just jeopardize all of the palace security. Yeah, I'm just saying, if we leave some of us here. Are you saying split the party and take all the guards? To the <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just... <laughs> Some of the people that you think wouldn't betray you. Yes, but the mm -hmm. ones we're concerned about are the ones who either let this happen or didn't yesterday. That's the ones you're concerned about. I'm just saying. Those should be the ones you're concerned about as well. I'm just saying all. 
all involved. I mean, you never know. This is a first step. If I was betrayed once upon a time by my dearest and bestest of close friends. You just never know who's involved. Well, I'm totally going to stab you in the back later, so it's all good. Oh! <laughs> At this point, while they're sort of like having a conversation, I'm just mm -hmm. going to start like put my arms around both of them and go, Hey! <laughs> is, uh, is Dad making some weird ass decisions? No, Dad's making fine decisions. It's questionable. I didn't realize it's questionable. I'm just trying. I'm just. I'm just trying to throw a little long-term logic into the. Into Honestly, the I've been operating more on my emotions than my logic these days. I'm aware of this. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. Speaking mm. of that, I'm gonna go take a couple of minutes and use my morning sending stone message. Okay. Privately, please. Yep. <laughs> Particularly since I know River has gone off somewhere else. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing, so unless you accidentally walk into where I am, then <laughs> she's got to go clean her hands and usually girls go to the bathroom together because you never know what could happen. Because you don't know where I am either, so I think you should roll to see if you end up where I am. <gasps> okay. <laughs> All right, roll for it. What should I roll? Just roll a d20. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. D20. If you roll anything between a 15 and a 20, you end up in the courtyard where River is. I think you got, yeah. 15 or a 20. Oh, okay. Anywhere between a 15 and a 20. So 15 to 20, you end up in the courtyard. 15, 15 20. Okay, let's go for it. Ah! Buttons. Ah! No, don't <sighs> press it. Roll. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really need to meet up with you. Okay, that's a 13, so I did not. No. So you you actually go to the, one of the many bathrooms. The, ma are the many bathrooms? Yeah, there's, okay. there's a castle. There's quite a few yeah. bathrooms. There's a lot of people that live here. <laughs> Their bathrooms consist of just holes in the ground. No, I would just thought they were a little bit better than that. It's a palace. They are better than that. I was gonna say, like, they're not some, like, Picts or, like, s some Celtic warrior in, like... I'm just saying, that would be hilarious. This is there's, a like, glamorous palace and the bathroom is whole. No. It may no. be, like, a bucket, but then it's got, like, a... A nice marble. I expect it to have, like, a nice marble, like, top on it. <laughs> seat warmers. <laughs> it's not quite marble, but it is some nice polished and sandy down wood. Okay. Imagine how cold. I'm gonna get a spot in your ass. <laughs> so, so just to get you to, to go to the toilet. That gives you a fright. <laughs> That's what it's for. <laughs> it I'm, just gonna go make my, I'm just gonna go make my phone call out in the hallway. Like, walk okay. down past me. <laughs> You know, out of your shot of the guards, <laughs> yeah. just make my, you okay. know, like you do. So you just yeah. go down the hallway to make your call. Okay, who's counting? Oh lord, I gotta count right. <laughs> I just take the stone out, mm -hmm. and I and I swipe my thumb over it, and I say, "I'm okay. It's been a day. I miss you." That's it. A few seconds go by and then you get a response. I heard there was an attack. I'm assuming you were there. It's good that you're okay. If you need anything, let me know. I miss you as well. <laughs> And then I just kind of put put the stone on my forehead for a second. <sighs> this sucks. <sighs> and then I go back to the. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm just sitting at the table looking rather grumpy. <laughs> 
I'm like, do you want an orange? Are you still in the bathroom? I don't know where I am. I'm very confused. <laughs> the bathroom. <laughs> One minute it wasn't, and now, and now I'm in a bathroom. I'm very confused. So you're suffering from life. You went to go know. and find River, thinking that River had went to actually wash the, the bean juice off of the, um, her hands. You actually did go to the bathroom. Oh, I not find them there. okay, okay, all right, okay, okay. <clears throat> that would have been a great moment, just, just passing an orange over to... Um, you can come level. back in and see the grumpiness and pass the orange over. Yes, that's it. That's what I was going to do. Okay. <laughs> that I'll take the orange day. and I, think, I say thanks, little buddy. Yay. And then I sort of just like run away. And I don't peel the orange, I just chomp it. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Peel on and everything. Yeah, it was already peeled, so it'd okay. be fine. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Nice. No. Because it's I already nice. like threw some to the children to get them away from me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and then I started just like run away, like wee. <laughs> all right. So after half an hour or so, you all kind of meet back in the the breakfast dining hall area. Um, okay. uh, sort of um, young, young looking um female gnome comes into the room and the children just um apart from the older teenagers um start just kind of laughing and they all rush out of the room um only to be followed by the the gnome the gnome nanny <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh i love it the That's queen cool. and the rest of the party kind of stand up um sir Ameth's partner leaves the room as well after a kind of brief like kind of hug um and so does the queen's husband and you're left in the room with the queen sir emma citrus and the queen's father shall we head to the council chamber are you prepared yeah. enough yes let's head over yeah let's go all right did river come back like, do we know where River is? Did <laughs> River come back? No. Oh wait, oh. everyone, we've missed we've we, we've missing a person from our party. Oh my gosh, we're missing someone. <laughs> She's been kidnapped. <gasps> All right. Deep breath, Leaf. Deep breath. We're good. It's okay. fine. It's River. Remember, I doubt that. I doubt she's been kidnapped. <laughs> then, who will I play wait do wagers with and have fun with? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that River's around. We she'll just be back. she'll be back. She'll be back. I hope so. So, like, where is the courtyard in relation to where we are in the palace? Do you like pass by it, right? Like, are we gonna pass by it? Is no. it us? So you, um, when you went into like kind of the main living area the last time mm -hmm. for your refreshments and stuff before and after the fight. You came out of the courtyard, um, went along a corridor and into that section of the castle. So it's a completely different section. So you would then went through that section to, to go to the guest chambers and that's kind of directly beside the, the dining hall area. So are they close? So are we close? Uh, a few minutes walk. Okay, so we're not close. And we're not going to pass by the courtyard on our way to the council chambers, yep. or are we? We are? Yeah. Okay. Perfect, because <laughs> as I was up there, I decided to start practicing magic things. Okay. Um, and I have cast jump on myself, and you just see me like fucking Woo! Tigger. Woo! <laughs> this is the oh. best. I think we found River, everyone. <laughs> Look, oh. check this out! God. <laughs> That's jump. impressive. Also, we're on our way to the council chambers if you want to join us. So hold on, though. I just want you to know. So that is 90 feet in the air. <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh. So you're I'm in way off the castle. <laughs> but yeah. Wait, you're in the courtyard, right? Yeah. 
Okay, so, good. Because so if you were yeah. in the corridor, you would no, be like, that's why I was like, that. you'd be iron manning through the roof. <laughs> you'd, yeah, or you would yeah. be squished. Look at <laughs> splat hey. on the ceiling. <laughs> and, then I, and then I go to jump again, and it. Oh, shit, I think it's over. <laughs> Hey, we're on our way to the council chambers if you want to join us. I'm just imagining this this splat in the ceiling, and all you see is like a black splodge and just two eyes. It's, it's okay. I can just I can just see River as Tigger just now. Just the wonderful thing about Tigger is that Tigger's a wonderful thing. We don't want to get copyrighted for singing Disney. <laughs> If Disney wants to send us a cease and desist, we can just frame it. <laughs> and I was say, that just means that's super cool. <laughs> right, I'm coming. Okay, so <laughs> that looked impressive. Listen, I was thinking about the thing, the the fight yesterday, and it's just we've got to do better. Uh, I've got to do better. We've all got like. I want put a put a pin in that, because yeah. because because I'll tell you what, I don't know where the fuck I got sent. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know what the fuck happened. But all I could think about was coming back and finding you all just on the floor. Yeah, so, we have to. So I yes, we have to. Ha yes, we have to have this conversation. I agree. It's stressing me out having a lot of anxiety about it yeah so can we just make a note that we have to have this conversation yeah. after after we beat or finesse the truth out of some cards yeah yeah you see how high i got that was, fucking that was awesome dude <laughs> mm. all right a follow all right okay <laughs> So coming along the corridor after you have been kind of cajoled out of your your bouncing face, mm -hmm. um, you go up a, a set of stairs um, yeah. that you kind of rushed past previously to a door when you were trying to go up to the battlements really quickly to um, a large wooden door that's already open. Mm -hmm. And inside you see that there are... Um, let me think how many people there would be. Sorry. With 12 yeah. people already sitting in there. <laughs> um, a, a, a long wooden table. Uh -huh. There are some seats around the sides of the rooms. And um, three seats are unoccupied at one end. The Queen steps in first. <clears throat> Followed by Sir Emma Citrus and her father, uh, they take up the three empty seats, and the seats around the, the edges of the room are for everyone else. There are two guards that are posted at the front of the door, during all this as well. Once the Queen and everyone else enters, the room door shuts closed, and everyone um, takes a seat once the Queen has sat down. Ooh, okay. So how how large is this room, like roughly? <clears throat> um, it would be. I think. How many feet, roughly? It's about twenty feet by fifteen. So twenty feet long, fifteen feet wide to accommodate everything. Not bad. Okay. So in and zone of truth is a fifteen foot sphere. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you're sort of in the middle, no, that should do fine. Then there's only going to be about five feet on the outside mm. of the room that where we need to stand so we don't tell the truth. <laughs> oh, I see how you are. I don't remember. I have lies. That's fine. Yeah, no, I don't care. <laughs> I don't have anything to hide. Ask me. AMA is all I have to say about that. <laughs> what do you like on your sandwich? <laughs> Bread and butter pickles. Mm -hmm. The range area, I am sorry. The, oh no, that's a chip. There we go. Boop. 
I see. I'll bring it up as well here. <laughs> yeah, there we go, yeah. Um, when we walk in, I'm just gonna... Area, 60 feet by 15 feet. So you can cast it within 60 feet of yourself. Oh, I see, and then 15 And then it's feet, a 15-foot sphere it. wherever you got it. it. Within that 60 feet from you. And just as we walk in, can I do, like, an inside check on the general demeanor of everyone in the room? Yeah, roll for it. <sighs> And Dale's at once too as well, you can also do that. What if I roll lower than my passive insights? Oh, fuck yeah! And you are preoccupied with your phone call this morning. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. So that is, alright, so... 25. Ooh, okay. 13. And I did, I rolled lower than my passive insight, I rolled a 13. <laughs> hey, what okay. check are you doing? Perception. Um, Insight to kind of check to see if anyone's being like shifty or anybody's. Oh, right. Okay. That's That's not 25. That is 19, 20, 21. 22. Okay. Not too much of a difference. So that's okay. Well, it's three points different. No. These two points different. And you still broke 20. So you're. You're still good there. (laughs) So looking around, you see that there's just like a general kind of air of nervousness. Mm-hmm. Um, with everybody that's there who did not enter with the queen. Um, uh, isn't anyone who looks shifty per se? Or like they want to bolt? <laughs> yeah. They all just seem to be very nervous but eager to kind of get this over with. <clears throat> if that makes sense. I lean over to Tix and I say it, uh, I want you to watch the door and not let anyone get out, just in case somebody feels like they need to run. Fair. And then I look over at the queen and give her a nod like it's okay to proceed. Okay. And I stand in the middle of the room. (laughs) And I say, what happened yesterday was completely unacceptable. (laughs) (laughs) Respect. Respect. It's treason, is what it is. I'm just like staring them down. And it shall not be tolerated, and those who are found to be guilty shall be punished according to the laws. And we shall find out what is happening. (laughs) I can't get into it. I'm trying. You're doing a great job! (laughs) What are you doing? What's in your minds, whether you like it or not, and I cast Zone of Truth on the whole entire room. Okay. Hello. Oh, so that means like everyone will say yep. the tr- like even us. Mm-hmm. You, if you make your save, it has a saving throw, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, but that's disappointing. Okay. Yes. And if it's they're willing, a- though, if they're willing, you can just let it happen, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you're willing, you can. You don't have to. Yeah. You can just like be like, yeah. Mm. Um. Yeah, so, uh, so for the first time on the turn or starts this turn, they must make a charisma saving throw. Okay. And it lasts for 10 minutes. And what's, a deliberate lie. what's the save? Uh, charisma 14. 14? Okay. Yeah. I don't care, so I'm, I'm, I'm just letting it happen. Same. I'm also, so I'm, as everyone has entered, I'm just, I am standing by the door. I have my long sword out, like tip to the to the ground with my hand on the pommel, just okay. waiting. <laughs> and then I turn towards the queen and say, Your Majesty, would you like to proceed with the interrogation? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's only wow. gonna oh, really leave. <laughs> Leaf, I miss you so much. <laughs> I have to go grab my water. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Would you yeah. like to help with the interrogation? Get it, Leaf. Me? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, ooh. I mean, who's the first? Who's the first? Sub- I mean, these guards that were here the other these day. These guards let people okay, come so in. 
point of order here? You guys were in with the small council just now, not the guard meeting. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is just the council. Oh. No, this is a great place to start. Right. Okay. You the council corruption starts first. at the top. Yeah, I thought we were talking to the guards too. I got confused. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's a whole different approach, isn't it? Probably, yeah. But it was so good. Okay, so this is just sort of get interesting then, okay? The, um, there's a, a small dwarven female who's got like um, a bright red hair that's completely all braided back. She's mm-hmm. sitting there in um, armor that definitely looks as though it's seen some use. And she just looks at you and goes, And who the fuck are you? How dare you speak to our fellow like that? <laughs> I just look back and say, well, who the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm someone that's come. We are someone that has been summoned here to help the queen. We're an yes. outside party. That is who we are. We're, We're an, an impartial party. How's that? Yeah. We're the mediators. We're a band and let's be honest, it. we're also the ones who put our life on the line yesterday while the guards and the security and the military of this castle did fuck all. So, you should be thanking us for being here. Without not questioning where we come from or our authority. I without literally us, your majesty you. would be dead. Yeah. Literally saved the queen. River here literally saved the queen's life. So, so the question really is, who the fuck are, are you? you? <laughs> and as that happens, I'm going to, like, brandish my paintbrush and go, Yeah! <laughs> Threateningly. <laughs> I'm just gonna get my like one of those little flap flaps across the face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like start, like a fight with the council. This is gonna be great. <laughs> like, wait, who is immediately in front of me? Like, like is there like a dwarf <clears throat> in front of me? There's. You're just like reaching around from behind me and going flap flap. Yeah, <laughs> reach around. What? It's sitting directly in front of you, um, yes. Leaf. There is a male Goliath. Oh, Ooh. nice! I mean... Wait, is he sitting down? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, but he's still a very large and imposing figure. And, like, where, like, where would I reach? Like, would it... Because I had this imagination that, like, if I had this paintbrush and I was brandishing it, it'd be so great if someone had a mustache and I was going... Yep. <laughs> he's... Let me, okay, let me roll, see what's gonna happen, okay? Because if he's, like, really tall, it's not gonna give okay. the desired effect so, that I want. It'll, like, be, like, tickling his, like, nipples or something. So he is, <laughs> he he's sitting down, but he's not looking at you. He is bald. So you draw a mustache on the back of his head. But there's nothing on the brush. <laughs> Like a mustache sort of tickly thing on his on the back of his skull. And then you oh, should sorry. Oh again. sorry, sir. Um um it, I thought you had some dirt on you and I was just dusting it off. Um this smoke and I push leap aside and I say Let's get down to business. Let's get well, down to business <laughs> to defeat the Huns. Okay, no, we're definitely getting that straight. Did they send me daughters <laughs> when I asked <laughs> for <laughs> sons? Have you seen Mulan? Oh, yes. I love <laughs> Mulan. It's like my favorite. It's the, it's the best. <laughs> so, <laughs> I roll my eyes. I take mm-hmm. a deep breath. And I say, one or more of you have a connection to what happened yesterday. The dwarf. And I point what? to the dwarf and I say, <laughs> <laughs> What's your involvement in what happened yesterday? <clears throat> Did you help to create this chaos that almost ended in death? Yeah. There is no truth. Did you? Did you? Uh huh. Well, given the fact that I am the leader of the entire army and have been fighting at the front, I would say that I wasn't exactly here. <gasps> Doesn't mean that you didn't have something to do with it. The plot. Perfect alibi. Perfect alibi. 
Besides, she, besides, oh, hold on. I'm thinking about this in my head. Well, that's not what I'm asking. What I'm asking is, One. did you have anything to do with what happened yesterday? Yeah. Did you put an order out for this? There you Since go. you're the head of the guards. Dun, dun, dun. Of course not. Why on earth would I do something like that? Do you know if set aside moving to the next? <laughs> do you know if your? But do you know? Do you know if your spell has taken hold or not? Like, do you know? I mean, can you tell? Like, is that I've a thing? Said it, yeah. So who did be? Well, yes, but they have a saving throw. So can you tell if they've saved? Or oh, not? oh, yeah. Good That's point. my yeah, question. You you know whether they've they've failed or saved on a saving throw? Okay, then. So I go down to the next one. And, and actually, I'm just going to cut to the chase and say, who here is responsible for what happened yesterday? Or had involvement? Well, everyone had involvement, hon. We had involvement. Yeah, but, like, they might not be directly responsible, so they could easily tell the truth while still getting out of the lie. I think that you understand shenanigans better than I do. Go ahead, interrogate. <laughs> Did somebody I say shenanigans? shenanigans. <laughs> what kind of shenanigans are we up to? I'm here. This is my language. Does anyone here... See, that's what I'm trying to think. Does anyone here... know of any dark or... or... Nefarious. Nefarious dealings with what happened yesterday, whether they were involved or not... Did they have any part in hindering or helping, aiding, and abetting, and abetting <laughs> the suspects who fled? Or at this point, I'm just gonna like or appear, I'm just gonna like appear kind of like anime style, like glide to the back of river with like a dictionary and be like, yeah, we're just like <laughs> listing dictionary words. <laughs> That's what we're feeding into you right now. And then I toss the book behind and kind of just go like slide back. I don't want to process anything bought or sold or sell anything bought or processed or. Pro I don't like, know watch, any of these. Don't to watch anything again. Does anybody feel guilty about what happened yesterday? <laughs> well, well, we did. Well, wield it. Oh no, but maybe they don't Does feel guilty. Does anybody have any so knowledge about this. what happened yesterday? My brain just can think of all. What the knowledge do you have about who may have had an involvement in the nefarious acts of yesterday? The queen. <gasps> they hesitated. It's a long pause. <laughs> That means they're suspicious. Also, pay attention. If they say no, but they're shaking their head yes, that means they are lying. Purples! Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, your majesty. On some level, everyone within this room has various pieces of knowledge regarding our spies within the veil. However, there was no whispers shall we say that made its way back to ourselves within the council via our spy masters of any intentions or plots for what's happened yesterday and that's why? Why. my question is <clears throat> why did none of your spy network pick up on this this doesn't happen with no communication i'm saying are you sure just because it didn't make it to you doesn't mean it didn't make it to one of them that is what we're currently starting to look into with reaching out to our various spies. That does take time, as we need to ensure that they are themselves not compromised. So maybe that's the question we ask. Is anyone in this room compromised? <laughs> I mean... Well, Her Majesty has been compromised. I mean, is anyone in this room Dealing, 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 and dealings. <laughs> dealing and dealings? <laughs> of shenanigans. <laughs> yes, shenanigans. Yep, I'm guilty of shenanigans. Is anyone <laughs> in this room <clears throat> not on the side of the queen? 
Well, I'm on her other side. <laughs> <laughs> You're on a side. A I'm side. On the side of the her. What of the side of queen? Half side. Half side. Oh, no, I'm on the good side. Good. Okay. Let's ask the rest. Because have you seen her profile? It's really nice. That's her good <laughs> side. I can ask these guys. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, I think we all would swipe the hell out of the queen, but yeah. Swipe right. Why would you swipe her? How dare you? That's um, not swipe, swipe right. No, swipe left. Swipe right. <laughs> you don't want to swipe her. You want to, like... I just lean uh, over. I caress her face. I think they just mean that they, 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 you hit the queen. Like, bow, chicka, wow, wow. Yeah, but that's, that's, no, no, I would never <laughs> swipe her. I'd maybe, like, sweep her off her feet. <clears throat> that's, there you go. Oh, like, literally, like, lift her off the yes. floor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Can you leave us a oh, Lord. <laughs> Is anyone here not on the side of the queen? There's just silence in the room. Well, they're all kind of looking at each other. Now that they've kind of figured out that there's been a zone of truth cast, they're all just looking around. 30 seconds go by, a minute go by, and there's no answer. Does it look like anyone's struggling to... I mean, they were, they have they can't be deceptive, so there's no. They could be if they have their own spells or something, right? Or no. If they saved on their saving throw, if they yeah. made the save, then it could be. Did anyone we, save on their? But we would know. Yes, they, we, we, you they, have <laughs> Torin, no one, no one failed a save. Uh, sorry, um, let me phrase this correctly. So no I one I has. Um, opted to make a save. They've just let that happen. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Well, carry on then. I'm out of here. <laughs> no, don't be so defeated. No. <laughs> and at this point, I'll be, I'll, be yeah. out, I'll be outside. Can you only no. do your spell once a day? You have more spell slots than that. Uh, yeah. Well, it depends it's, what level uh, spells. You get two second level spell slots. So, so you can go another second level spell. Go yeah. to, we could I'm, go I'm to outside. The, uh, I'm just really distraught. No, I and at this yeah, moment, really information. now we know that the whole council is has nothing to hide. It's yeah. just the whole thing is just it's bringing up trauma. I understand, and I need to be outside. I go over to Torin and I just go cuddle. Oh, thanks, old buddy. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I just and then I go. You take all the time you need. <laughs> I just look at the room and they're like, "Cool, it's good to know that you're all on the same side." But you guys failed immensely, and it's your job not to. You should get your shit together. I don't understand how you could let this happen so abashedly bad. We're... <laughs> today we're not, we're not we're not No, word yeah. doesn't happen today. Um, the the dwarven female who you've square gold as it were. A little bit of squish there. Um <laughs> <laughs> just stands up and looks at you all. It is extremely hard to prepare for something that there's no knowledge of. We had some guards and we had um, the normal amount of guards in place. Admittedly, now we know that the threat level has increased. So we have pulled back some of the, the soldiers from the front to guard the palace mm -hmm. and have more people on guard at all times and have extra shifts. Until we know more information about where the leak has come from and why word hasn't been getting back from the Vale, we can't do much else, but that is what we're looking into. Our spy masters in the Vale have already been reached out to to check in with their 
shall we say, contemporaries within various positions of power. So we shall know more later this afternoon, possibly this evening. You do know that this is the second wyvern attack this week, right? We were attacked on the road on the way here. Which is why this is extremely worrying that somebody in the Vale has knowledge of various calendars for royal party members and why we need to look into everyone here. The guards first will be checking those to see if there are any leaks there that can be plugged. Yeah, we'll the, be talking to the guards after we leave here. The the dwarf sits down um, and the queen then stands. In conversation this morning, we have decided that we do need an outsider's perspective and approach who are not known to any of these parties potentially. And we would therefore like to proposition a task for you all. We enjoy a proposition. <laughs> we have a contact who is within the inner circle of someone who is known to work within the Vale that we would like you to reach out to as anybody who we have said before will be known to whoever the, the leak is. But if you go in their stead and look into this individual, then hopefully we can plug this gap a lot faster than we would otherwise. Who, who is this that we're uh, supposed to be looking into? They work out of a city called Ark Mary. Oh, Lord. Wait, wait, let me guess. Yeah. I don't have it. Well, we know who we're, we know who we're, yeah. Pretty sure that we're already on the trail. But please, enlighten us. If you're already on the trail of this individual, then that makes perfect sense for you to, to continue on with your own investigations as well as investigating this at the same time. Our contact um, will meet you in one of the back rooms of the Ram's Horn, a tavern within the city at nightfall. Night. And you give the code word supplyance to the barkeep. They Wait, what's the code word? Code word what? Supplyance. Supplyance? Yep. Oh. Like appliance, but with a sup. sup. <laughs> Sup, lions? Yep. <laughs> what if, you you <laughs> if you give this code word to the barkeep, they will lead you to the contact to discuss further. What was the name of the bar again? The Ram's Nine. Horn. Ram's Horn. Oh. Mm -hmm. And where was this? In it is the one of the taverns in the city. It is... Let me get the exact... Place for you. Is it Knight's Vale or something? No, it's it's in Cerithia. It's, it's yeah, it's in the city. It's just one of the taverns in the city. Um, it's a tavern that is over near the East Gate, which is by the barracks. And you said tonight after sundown. Yes, tonight. Tonight, time just after sundown. Is there any objections to this cause? Nope. 
Well, actually, one second. River? Yo. Fine. You have... You matter, you matter to me more than any of this garbage, so... It's fine. Okay. Then, yep, we're in. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you would still like to question the guard, you are more than welcome to, to join us for the interrogation later on today. That will be before sundown. Did we back. get the name of the contact? Nope. Is it Darren? No. What's the name of the contact? <laughs> the contact shall be made known to you. Um, mm-hmm. at the time. This is some cloak and dagger shit, is what this is. It has to be. <laughs> that, I, yes, I, I, I understand so that <laughs> it needs to be. Um, Do I have dust in the Well. Mm-hmm. Uh, DM question. Yes. Rithia is a pretty diverse city, yeah? Yeah. Because I like it's not. Is, is there like a predominant humanoid species, or is it really just a mix? It's um, it's quite a large mix. However, walking around, which you haven't had a chance to do yet, um, but from what you know of the city, um, I'd say about sixty percent is like a pretty even split between humans and elves, and the rest of the forty percent is the other races. Okay. So pretty standard. Okay. Then I think probably for this spy meeting, I'll probably go elf. Yeah. Okay. Question, because I have I was supposed to get dust of invisibility, but it doesn't exist. There was only potion, and you were going to add it. I think. Oh yeah. And I don't have it yet, so. Yeah. Let's say I'll add it. Okay. Because I'm definitely going to be using that. Okay. So, is there anything that you'd like to do before the guard meeting? Would you still like to attend the guard meeting? Definitely want to attend the guard meeting. Um, okay. but I think Maybe we I, should discuss like our like. Yeah, I think we need a little con- in. We need a little conflab before. Before just powering go. through. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. What? Yeah. So the queen nods to the guards, um, and one of the guards at the door opens the door and leads you out and takes you kind of back to the rooms where you were staying. The other one stays there um in the small council area so the guard leaves you and says um we shall return after the small council meeting to bring you refreshments before we head out to the barracks thank you kind of does a kind of like nod sort of thing at attention and leaves the room so you're the four of you are back in your your sleeping chambers from the night four but we'll take a little break there
Coming right. back from break then. <laughs> so we'll got all that. We'll do it again. Coming yeah. back from break. You guys were in your room, ready to have a little conversation before meeting back up for food and then heading out to question the guards. First, I want to check in a little bit here. Yep. Are you Torin? Yeah. So after this, we're going to be questioning the guards. Are you up for it? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm. All, I'm alright. I can do it. I, I mean, you it. got us some valuable information. Knowing that no one on the council is compromised was really important. It would have been more satisfying if someone had been, and then we could have killed them, and that would have been fun. But at least now we know who to trust. But now we know we can trust them, and yes. that is incredibly Absolutely. valuable knowledge. So don't be too hard on yourself. Uh, it's just it's also. I hear you. Traumatic. Do you want to, do you need to talk about that a little bit or do you, or is that for, for later? I think that that's probably for later. Okay. Let's just get through those. Okay. But I, I like reach up at this point on Torin and stick a little, like, you're doing great. Like little stick. <laughs> <laughs> a little badge. <laughs> so, like a little, little badge that I made him. This is like, you're doing great. <laughs> oh, thanks gold, buddy. Gold Thank star. you. So, okay, I just want to clarify some things. Okay. So, we are meeting a nameless contact. Mm -hmm. In where? The Ram's Horn Tavern tonight after. Okay. After sundown. Who is connected to Arkmary? Who is connected to. Um, potentially. But is connected to the dealings that of the veil. Connected to the dealings between your favorite person and the veil. Mm -hmm. Your favorite person seems to be having dealings with the veil, and this is a person, from what I understood, this is a person who has connections with what's going on between in that. And we know that the nameless one. <laughs> she who will not be named. On the other, on the other end. That was clarified. I missed that at some point. Um, that's what I'm confused about. Oh, that we know that it's your favorite person that we're yeah. that, that we're ultimately yeah. I mean, that was the gist of the conversation. Yeah. Um. Is we were also sent to. Uh, weren't we supposed to meet with someone named Darren as well at the silver tongue at the silver tongue because they also had information about yeah. she who not not be named yeah yes but that I think honestly I feel like we should maybe keep that meeting a little bit on the on the DL. Well, I was gonna ask, where was that? <laughs> where was that in Cerinthia? Yeah, that's here too. Okay. Well, and there was yeah, because we were supposed to meet the the guy that that Pandora used to work for. Right. But I feel like we should kind of keep that a little. Like, I don't think we need to have all of our cards on the table here. Oh, good God, mm -hmm. no. I just know so, I didn't remember how important that was supposed to be. Pretty important, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you um, know, before we got attacked by wyverns twice. I think our biggest thing is, is going into this meeting, we need to be prepared. Completely and 100% ready to go. Yeah. And by prepared, unlike the guards here, that means we need to be ready for anything. Mm, yeah, true. Yeah. Um, also, what are we going to do about um, Mika if she's upstairs still? Well, hopefully she'll be awake by tonight. That seems to be her sleep cycle. Yeah. I don't think we need her for the questioning of the guards, but we'll just wake her up before we go to the tavern tonight. Abby. Oh, it's Leaf. So Leaf has slipped into a transcendental meditative state. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Leaf. Question, does a short rest bring back spells? <laughs> no, not unless you're... You can use Arcane Recovery. I don't like... have Arcane Recovery. Do I? Anguishes. I think it's a wizard thing. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't even know how to do that. 
I think there's feats that can like yeah, I don't think I have arcane recovery. No, I think wizards only wizards have arcane recovery. Well, that's what we need to restore Abby. Arcane recovery. <laughs> yeah. Her setting stone is shoddy as hell. Because here's the thing: I have dust of invisibility, which I can use for, and it's. I'm, hey. I'm assuming it's similar. That was to another this. very serious look, of which I didn't realize you were frozen again. Yes, yeah, technology is not invisibility. So yeah, I'll for like an hour. I think it's the storms we've got. What kind of storms you got going on? Uh, just two really bad wind storms back to back. Sweet, like eighty mi like eighty miles per hour winds. Mm -hmm. That's good times. Eight zero, eight, eight zero. zero. Nice. I've been in those kind of windstorms. That's good times. Um, I don't think all of us should go in. To the guards or to the bar? To the meeting. I think we should go, but maybe so I'm gonna be invisible. I have dust of invisibility. I'm assuming it's like mm. just for point of clarification. Are we talking about tonight's meeting at the right. tavern or this? Right. Okay, so we're not, the guards were just Torin's going to storm in and give that speech again, and and mm. we're going to go with the guards. Okay. Yeah, and maybe you should ask a clarifying question. <laughs> well, and I'm going to go into I'm going to I'm going to look like an elf or something a little more blendy okay. uh, for the meeting tonight. And I'm going to be invisible. I think that's good. I think if any ways in which we can hide our numbers, I think is good. Okay, I have a spell I could use, which is hold person. Um, if we have to hold anyone that tries to run away. Um, which is kind of kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, I think the meeting tonight is mostly going to be information gathering and, like, what our next steps need to be. I, yeah. I, I mean, I, I think... That this contact knows they're meeting with someone from from the palace. I don't. I think that that's like. I think the biggest thing is is we go. I think maybe one. Or, I think maybe two or three of us go and talk. Mm -hmm. The rest of us take points of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can see if anyone's around or. I am not a talker, so I'd probably prefer to be on the ground and. Yeah. Keeping guard. Yeah. And you know, this it. is a. Like an old story from an old story from my hometown of uh, they called Caleb in the dance hall. Yes, <laughs> I've heard that story oddly enough. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> Where you have lots of people, but they're hidden about the room and you, you know doing their own thing, like doing their own thing, keeping an eye on stuff. So stealthily. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. You know, reading the newspaper, but... Oh, uh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. I can do that, I can do that. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we know what we're... So, so... And just, I just want to do just a brief emotional check-in. Is everyone doing okay? It's been a stressful few days. We're all here... <laughs> We all have each other's backs. Yep. Yeah. Um, good as it's gonna get. Good let's as go. it's gonna get for today, right? Let's mm. go. Yep, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go to lunch. Because this palace feels. <laughs> and... But um. All right. So. Crusty right. bread just... beef sandwiches. Yes. Just as you're finishing this off. Um, the, the guard does knock on your door and lead you away to lunch, um, where there's beef sandwiches and soups and cakes. And I want beef sandwiches cheese. and soup. Food! Yay! <laughs> Except I ate so much at the beginning, I'm just like, uh, food. It's, it's like all the food on Christmas Day. I want beef well, sandwiches. I had the, the best dinner last night. <laughs> I want some French onion soup with a beef sandwich. I have. And then you can take that sandwich and dip yep. it into the French onion soup. All right, let's go crush the guards. We're food no. talking. We ate lunch. Now we're going to go crush the guards. Oh, oh okay. Get it up, Torin. All right. <laughs> so after lunch, um, you're all kind of put into some. You're all put into some carriages. 
um, and taken off just on a relatively short ride to the barracks. It's only about a 10 15 minute ride, if that. Um, but you do get to see the city for the first time. It is the section that you go through is a lot cleaner um, than what you would expect for a city. The houses themselves, they are different from the houses that you saw in Elans. They are all made out of stone. Um, the ones that you see just now are a very smooth kind of um, bluey grey stone that you see. And after your short carriage ride, you arrive at the barracks, the, the Queen and some members of the small council that you saw in the room previously do exit a couple carriages in front of you and you exit your own carriage behind and are taken into the barracks. Inside the barracks, there's kind of like a large, like, training ground area on the outside. It's all like kind of sandy kind of stuff. And you see there's um, a couple of guards that are out training in that area at that time. But they instantly stand to attention as soon as they see that the Queen has arrived. And they are ushered straight back inside into a room that you follow into. And you see that it's almost like a mess hall area where there's just like a lot of tables with chairs round about and every single chair is jam-packed and all the way around the kind of outside of the room um, is also just filled with with guards. Yeah, we're just probably there. nobody showed up to help us. That's concerning. The queen takes her place um, at the front of the room with the members of the small council and yourselves round about. Mm -hmm. You're muted, Erin. Erin's muted. <laughs> Again, I just take a quick look to see if anyone's particularly uncomfortable. Okay, go for it. <clears throat> Roll for it. A 12. No. 11. There's a lot of people in this room. You, yeah. You see, there's a lot of people who look extremely young. There's some people that look a lot older. Um, you don't see anyone who's like ready to bolt out the door necessarily. You do. Do I see anyone who is? If I roll twenty one, <laughs> you see in um. Sitting down at one of the, the tables, there's a couple of people who are, whose eyes are darting around. <laughs> looking as if they might try and do something. How many exits are there out of this room? There is the one exit that just you all entered the one into. door that we just came in? Yeah. I'm going to assume the same position in front of that door that I assumed at the council meeting. And are you going to point out that one kind of like... I do a little, yeah. I'm just going to kind of maybe without, obviously I'm in a room and they're all watching us, but maybe like there's a shadow, just kind of be in that person's general vicinity. Mm -hmm. Stealthily, but like, I mean, not stealthily, but you know how like you walk behind someone, they're not sure, they didn't know you're there kind of thing. Does that make sense? Yeah. 100% does. Torin and Leaf, where are you um, heading yourselves to? I'm coming in and I'm noticing that there's only one door and that's really against fire code violation, but <laughs> what can I do about it? And then I am just going to come in and kind of position myself in the center of the room. Um, I'm going to sort of like, there's, is, are there like pillars anywhere like in this room or like how is the room set up again? Like is it kind of similar to the other room where it's like a table and... So this room has multiple tables that seat maybe six to eight people around them. Mm -hmm. um, there's um, I would say six of those tables in this room. Okay. Um, and then like a, a kind of clearing area at the front of the room which is where the queen is, is standing. Okay, I'm gonna sort of center. I'm gonna go to the left side of the room and mm -hmm. um, sort of in the middle. So I'm kind of like covering. Yeah, in the middle, yeah. Okay. 
And Torin? You anywhere in particular or? No, just towards the center of the room. Okay. I also try to give you the little like nod toward the people looking shifty so you can make sure they're in your radius. Yeah. All right. The queen stands up. She is still, as you'd said, she is still a little bit battered and bruised looking. If you, as you've seen her walking about, she doesn't seem to like be walking with any kind of pain or anything like that, though. Mm-hmm. So it looks as though like the look is just for appearances. It's not for anything else other than that. But as she takes her place at the front of the room, um, the guards all kind of sit up a little bit straighter and, and stop there. They're talking and chattering. She gives them all like, just like, 30 seconds to a minute just of like silence because you know of course that's a way to intimidate. Just looking around the room kind of making eyes with each and every single one of them before um, the dwarven female who was in the, the room earlier with you all steps up at her side. You're all here because you're all in the capital yesterday when the attack happened. And we want to know why you did not aid if you were in the castle, or why you did not come to aid if you were around the city. There may be certain spells that are cast in this room today. We would urge each and every one of you not to resist any of those spells as we complete our investigations. And she kind of nods towards the corner. I'll cast Zone of Truth. Okay. So we are going to ask each and every one of you to line up around the room. And just over the next couple of minutes, we're just going to ask you all a brief couple of quick questions. And we'll see what comes of it. I'm going to, like, lean over to River and be like, I thought we were doing the interrogation. Uh, no, not this time. It's fine. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to wait for someone to see if they, uh, show any signs. Okay. So they all kind of follow orders and they all line up all the way around the room. Um, so all the walls are just kind of filled with guards now so if there's any questions that you want to ask to the group overall now is your chance to kind of ask them before the zone of truth ends first did anyone try to resist i'm asking you yeah did anyone resist the spell doesn't look good mm-hmm. wait for the dm to tell us There are three people who resisted the spell. Ooh. And it's three of the kind of younger looking humans. The ones that were looking a little shifty to begin with? Yep. Did they actually successfully make their saves, all three of them? Or did they just try? Two of them made the save and one of them tried. Okay, I have message. So, to are you? Did you relay who uh, resisted? I'm gonna. I think I should let the queen know who tried. Mm-hmm. So, in message, I just say there are three. Three of your guards have already tried to resist. Two of them did, and I point out, or I mention in my head which three. I don't... <laughs> Larry, Moe, and Curly over there. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, Who are you saying this to? Are you saying it to Torin? you saying it to the... Queen. To the, the queen. queen. Okay. She nods. Um, but she doesn't see anything in response. 
but she acknowledges what you've said. And she looks over to, um, there is a female gnome accompanying her as well, who's dressed in, um, like, temple clothing. She's wearing, like, a long white, um, tunic. And she walks over to those three, who are thankfully clustered together. (laughs) And she pulls the three of them out of the room. You Mm. then get a response back from the Queen. Don't worry, our Keeper of Law and Justice has taken them away for more intense questioning. Excellent. Hmm. Okay. So if there's any questions you want to ask of the rest of them, you can ask them. I just have one question for all of you. As we put our lives on the line to defend the queen, where the fuck were you? Two of Answer them. one at a time. I don't care. Where were you? You're mute. Aaron, you're Aaron. Mute. Mute. <laughs> mute. 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 I feel like I'm going to be like, yeah, I was in the shitter. <laughs> I'm sure some of you were in the shitter. I'm sure some of you were were just fiddling a, fiddling a bit with their pee pees. Like diddling, okay. diddling yourself in your guard post. I don't care. Where the fuck were you? Who amongst you was aware that something was going to happen, but chose not to mention? We all at Torn's question just look around at each other and are just like shrugging their shoulders like like me? No, not me. Sort of thing. Um, just kind of trying to relieve themselves of any suspicion, um, mm-hmm. as it were. Um, the Did you dwarf- not hear the giant screaming flying beast besetting the cat? Did you miss it? When it flew overhead, blocking out the sun? like Or, you know, the fireball. Or the fireball? Did you miss the explosion? Who here was too afraid to come look? Oh, good question. One of them kind of steps forward and says, It's not so much that we're afraid to come and look, but myself, I was on the other side of the city when the attack happened. It was my day off. I was over shopping and visiting family. So you knew it was happening, but said, ah, oh, it's not my day. It's my day off. We're fine. I couldn't get back in time. The other side of the cities and I mean, how You have no idea how long it went on for. Did you try? I tried, but by the time I got there, everything was over. Okay, how about someone who wasn't an hour away? I know some of you were in the castle, and yet we saw nary a guard. One of the guards, make a perception check. Mm. Fuck you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven? Okay. Uh, eighteen. Yes, thank God. (laughs) Okay. So takes you notice that um there's a guard that steps forward, it's one of the guards who is up on the barricades. Mm-hmm. Eh, not the barricade barricades, the balustrades around the top of the castle, one of the archers. Mm-hmm. He looks down. Um sorry, it doesn't look down, he looks at you all and stepping forward. I made the call not to fire in case we hit the queen. Is your aim that shitty? Not bad? Are you a stormtrooper? What the? We were spread out, even. Like, we weren't even clustered, and there was literally a giant winged beast. You could... That's the broadside of a barn. Mm. Listen, I can give you guys some pointers. I am pretty good with a bow. Like, do we need. Is this just. A... I mean, so you put down. 
your arrow and you grab your sword and you come on down. I mean, we repelled from the top without much problem. Do you have a rope? <laughs> Do you have a rope? <laughs> he just kind of like looks down and like shuffles his feet. Yes, sort of thing. that is the expression I want to see. <laughs> that is the kind of shame that you should all be feeling. I, I go over. I go over to the one that said they didn't. They didn't uh, shoot, and literally just get my paintbrush out and go like that into his face. <laughs> shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! The queen kind of steps forward and places her hand on your arm ticks, um, and nods quietly at you, and looks at them all. As I just because I just want to punch them all in the neck. She just walks out of the room in cool. silence. I just look at him. Who trained you? What? You're it's, awful. <laughs> this can't be. I can't. The queen was braver than you all were. I think it's time to I'm find a replacement. I'm not. I'm not saying that. Like, we don't all have moments where, we, where we're where we afraid or we're not sure what to do. But to entire, for an entire battalion of guards to freeze because real shit actually happened to you for once is inexcusable. It's inexcusable. Get your shit together. And when Tix and when Tix says that, yeah. I kick one of I kick one of them in the balls. <laughs> Sir, Raj, Sir Rajman has so much side on. When you said that, Tix, all oh, I could hear was Hannah Gadsby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind being compared to Hannah Gadsby. That's fine. Um, at this kind of point, I would say that the zone of truth has now ended. But you you know kind of roughly what the ten minute uh, length would be for that, Torin. Mm -hmm. I say it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I just have to say one last thing. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed, so oh, and I walk out. <laughs> I really. It's just not worth it. You're not even worth it, and I walk out. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, like I said, I, I kick one in the balls and then I like basically look around and kind of just follow everyone else. <laughs> Ball tank. That's alright. I was going to uh, take an arrow and shoot the guy that said he was waiting to wait and I was going to try to hit him like his hair. Like non-lethally? Yeah, non-lethally, but I was like, mm, I don't want to take that chance. <laughs> So, yeah. Fair. All right. So you all leave and you catch up with the queen outside. Um, she is just like kind of casing quietly in front of the carriages, just like looking up. And queen. at that moment, like she, um, she does like just like put her hand on her shoulder and. Um, all the rest of the wounds on her face kind of close themselves up. She looks at you all. I know that you're all understandably angry at what's happened. However, I must implore you all to remember that each of these fights only lasted a minute at most. So while the guards, yes, not their finest moment for those who were there, and they shall be reprimanded and potentially demoted and such. But just apparently some target practice. They need to be more confident in their shooting. They shouldn't be worried about hitting you when the, the other target is literally giant. <laughs> I'm like nowhere near you just, as well. Just, just fire them and get some new ones. 
I mean, I hear you. I know that the but I know battle happens quickly. We've all been in it. We all know how fast things happen but if you can't, and how chaotic it can be. But if you can't, if you can't hit a wyvern, what the fuck? If you're not qualified. You're not qualified. Qualified. Now, at the very mm-hmm. least, Your Majesty, I think you should put some time into retraining these guys. If you don't like replace I, them, retrain. <laughs> Like I said, I'm not even angry. Point, I'm just disappointed. Point of order. There was no, the battle that was in the courtyard didn't have the wyvern at it. The wyvern was a bell before that. What? So there was no like archers on the balustrades because that's where you all were and they'd already killed the guards that were with you. Yeah, it was just the mage and the other guy. Oh, and... The other guy and the oh, other guy and the other guy. Yeah. But they weren't even close to near her. They were surrounding yeah. me on the other side of the battlefield. True. Still not a good excuse. Yeah, they don't know you. They can hit you if they have to. Right? <laughs> don't be worried about me. Friendly fire is just a risk you take. It would have stopped you from being zapped into the unknown. Right? Yeah. I mean, I told Torin to breathe fire on me. I can take it. <laughs> Torin's just disgusted and walks out. <laughs> Get your shit together. I follow Torin. <laughs> <laughs> Same. We're a hundred percent done. <laughs> One thousand percent done. done. Yeah, we're just done. Over it. Over it. Let's still get ready for this meeting. Okay. Ah, uh, bitches. You're probably about an hour from sunset, so you've got enough time to walk back and rouse Mika from her sleep before. Heading back to the Ram's Horn for your meeting. Was there anything that you wanted to discuss on the way there, or are you all just kind of walking silently in anger? Or walking silently in um, anger is my jam. Walking in kind of bewilderment. Okay. <laughs> As per in bewilderment. Its okay. General milieu, if you will. <laughs> Whoever is trying to hop their way home. I don't have that anymore. Oh. <laughs> it only lasts a minute. Oh. <laughs> I did use Okay, I also, I just have to ask this question for us to consider, because as I'm walking and thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Are we maybe a little bit this angry with the guards because we don't feel like we did our jobs very well? Uh, I mean, we saved the queen. We did what we were supposed to do, but they all got away through the portal. And I got zapped to God knows where, and and I know that I have my own. Yeah, I mean feelings. I don't know what I'm upset with myself that there's nothing that I could do in that instance. Like I can't close a portal. Yeah, we really need to learn counterspell. <laughs> right, somebody around here who's a magic user needs to learn counterspell. Right, I mean, and I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Um, yeah, I, I have a lot of, I have a lot of, I mean, you guys know enough of my story to know that I have a lot of trauma around losing people that I care about and, and not being able to protect them. And that was the fucking worst. Mm -hmm. I, uh, spent a lot of time this morning going over every choice that we made during that battle. And I think we were highly un- underprepared. It felt uh, that way. But it's like, there's a reason I was worried I was going to come back to y'all being dead. But at the same time, I think we just have a lot we all have to learn. Yeah. I don't think we could have done more than what we did. And I don't think it's fair for any one person to take any blame on what they did or didn't do in that moment. Because unlike guards, we actually have not been trained to do this. <laughs> we just are Truth doing it. That's valid. So I think we just need to be prepared more in the future. And yeah, look out for each other. That's it. Yep. 
We almost lost you. Well, I mean, we lost you. Yeah. And I was just in a sort of starry void cussing. Were there anything else in there with you? No. It was like, have you ever read stories about the astral plane? I mean, I've heard a couple tales. Nothing. It was kind of like that, but like, just like, yeah, I was, there was just. Or a, you could get there through a fish or something. Or a beast. Something. Something. I swear something. I've heard something like that in the past. Yeah, somewhere. I recall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Careful. I'm glad you were able to come back to One me. minute, I, I was, you know, sword deep in some asshole, and the next minute, I'm using that metaphorically, don't give me that look, River. <laughs> I didn't say it, you did. I went there too, I mean, so good life. And then the next second, I was just floating, just nothing. I came to completion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love you guys. <laughs> I mean, was it pleasurable? I mean, no. I would really prefer that that never happened again. Yeah, same. I think we just need to be more on guard. This is why, this is why I was testing you. All right. We've got each other's back and we know that we'll keep improving every time. So I think we'll be okay. Thank you, Leif. Right. Words of encouragement. I think we're all being, I think we are all being just a bit hard on ourselves and and being hard on those 18 year old guards who don't know their ass from well then they shouldn't be employed yeah that's why i said they should be fired again they really need to get their shit together i mean i'm i i stand by everything i said to them also i think that my vehemence might have been fueled a little by my own frustration with myself that's all Mm -hmm. i think maybe that castle and its guards have gotten a little complacent yeah, I think so. I think they don't have to deal with situations like that very often, which is good. You know, peace in the realm and all that. But if we're going to be having not so much peace in the realm, these guys are going to get their asses handed to them on a regular basis if this is going to happen more often. Mm-hmm. Good news is we'll be out of this town soon enough. Will we, though? Will we? Will we, though? Oh, um... we I mean, we did just get hired by the Queen to become spies for the Fractured Veil. I don't see us getting out of this rapidly. I love you, and... It's all a matter of choices. I understand the sentiment. I know when you hate being in cities anyway, but... Maybe while we're here, we can find some better weapons, find some, I don't know... Better armor, and... Personally, I think the Queen should... Give us some better stuff. Did we get paid for saving the queen? Not yet. Okay. I mean, if we're gonna go do this thing, it wouldn't be so but bad I think maybe, if she gave us a thing or two. I think maybe after tonight's meeting, I think tomorrow morning we need to have a sit down with the uh, head of the whoever it is, the master of arms, and get some... It's all exhausting. Let's be well, so like, and just retire. Isn't it customary? Like, if, see, I, again... I think it's a tale that I've heard somewhere on the road that, you know, after you save a queen or a council member, they give you like a house. Isn't that like a... That's what I'm just saying. Let's be the saint, right? Will. Keep, if you will. And we just, you know, <laughs> retire. We're here to guard the city. That's correct. We get some like hot crossbow fighter as the master of, of our guard and a bard. You guys are such chest eggs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, we went 48 minutes instead of a half an hour. Okay. All right. So while you've just, um, so we can finish this off. Um, while you've 
been walking and talking, you've already collected Mika and are on your way back to the Ram's Horn <clears throat> Tavern mm -hmm. um, after already finding out kind of from the people around where it is. You head into the tavern and you see... Where's my... Oh, we're doing this thing. now? Just to finish off. Just... I think we're just walking into the tavern. We're not having our meeting. Oh. Just to finish off, um... You go up to the barkeep, um, which is, let me see, it is a, a small gnome male who looks to be probably, be, probably about 150 or so um, in gnome years. Just as the thing, because I would definitely be invisible during this part. I wasn't planning on being seen going into the bar. Okay. That was my thing. Alrighty then. What oh. I need from you? <laughs> well, I was gonna use the the dust of invisibility. Yep. yep. How close are you all? Are you all, are you like waiting back to use this, or is there anybody else? I could. I would have done it before I walked into the bar. Yep. So so the rest of you, you all clustered round while Rivers using the dust, or. Did you kind no, of it's stand back a bit? Go anywhere near them because I don't want yeah. them to like <clears throat> lose right. arms. We're all we're all kind of we're all sort. I'm I am also like stepping into like a, a little dip into an alley so I can, um, all right, become like a nice tall, live, long blonde haired legless looking motherfucker. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I'm just okay. very slowly making my way, kind of kicking the ground. Alright. And Mika, I'm assuming, will just follow Leaf. Are you doing anything in particular? Are you following in? Are you slinking in the shadows or anything? Um, no, I'm just kind of walking in normally, just, just okay. casual. Alright. With the group or by yourself? Huh? With the group or by yourself? With the group. Yeah, like with the group. Yeah, in front, I'm in front of Tor I'm in front of Torin. Yeah, okay. I didn't get a drink. River. Yeah. As you pull out this pouch of this little brown pouch of the dust and you kind of like throw it up and sprinkle it over your head. I need you to throw a constitution saving throw for me. Okay. Dun dun dun. Constitution. Uh. Sixteen. Okay. So throwing this up, you look at it and it looks to be not quite working because you can still see your arm as you look at it and then you start to not be able to breathe and you start sneezing at the exact same time but i did it you, you can't stop like, but I everybody I else i need you to throw a perception check for me to see if in fact Tex, you would notice this. Huh? Tex would already notice this, so it's fine. Tex, you notice um, that Rivers just kind of stopped and is not able to breathe after throwing us dust and has just started sneezing uncontrollably. Okay, I rolled an 18%. Okay. Yes, <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to walk over. And, like, are you... Can you talk? Are you okay? <laughs> Have what you got COVID? <laughs> Let's roll, roll another constitution save for me. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. That's worse. That's an eight. No. Nope. <laughs> you, you still can't get anything out and you just still keep coughing and sneezing and coughing everywhere. River's what? dying. River's dying. Oh no. Um, I'm going to hand River like oh. a, a flask off of my hip. Like, take a. Yes. <laughs> 
take a sip of something. What is happening? I'm gonna like <laughs> smack River's back, like boom, boom, boom. Roll a saving throw with advantage. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Constitution saving throw. Constitution saving I'm just yeah. like smacking her back just to see if it helps. <laughs> not good. <laughs> not yeah. Good. Oh wait, is that a nine? <laughs> <laughs> That's ten. A ten? Six. <laughs> okay. You, you, you still can't clear whatever this is. You just still keep coughing and spluttering and, and sneezing constantly. <laughs> just got the lurgy. <laughs> Everybody run! <laughs> I'm going to cast. Anybody got heavy pin? Detect poison. You don't detect any poisons. <laughs> you you identified this, right? What did you put no, on your I did. <laughs> <laughs> Roll another constitution saving throw for me. Because this is now starting to feel bad. Ten! Oh my god! What dice are you rolling? No, these dice! Oh. <coughs> Eight. At this Eight. point, okay. a figure kind of crosses the kind of alleyway that you're in. River, roll a perception check. With disadvantage? Because I'm sneezing my full head off? No. <laughs> I I would like to cast Lesser Restoration. 17. 17, okay. <laughs> so, as this Lesser Restoration is going off, you finally start to feel your airways clearing. And you stop sneezing. <coughs> you meet the eyes of this figure. Who looks to be an elf. With light skin that's kind of grey looking. And has green hair that's pulled back into a bun. Green hair. Ooh. Dun, dun. You'd notice this person and you recognise them. But they look to be slightly better dressed than the last time you saw them. Mm -hmm. Do I recognise them? No. No. Oh. Wait. Interesting. <laughs> Hold on. What? Who? <laughs> I'm like, who from my backstory has green hair? <laughs> like, wait, backstory? I don't remember this person. Hold on. Hold on. Where is my backstory? <laughs> How do I find it? It's been quite a little while since you've seen this person. Definitely. The party that I was with before, but I can't remember which one! <laughs> Why can't I get... <laughs> I can't get to my backstory and it's pissing me off. It's usually open right there. Dun dun dun! It's the sheet that you sent me that's got the pictures on it. <laughs> yeah, I know! I know! I'm just trying to remember who it was. I had chickpea curry last mm -hmm. night, and Yum. it was so good. Yum. Ooh, oh! Good. Yes, please. Yeah. yeah. Wow. This little restaurant, I'd never been before, and like the guys were like, oh, we're going to go to this like Indian restaurant. And this like wee woman like basically does everything herself. She cooks, she serves, she like, and so there's like a little bell at the top of the stairs that if you need her, like you ring it. Holy cow. Yeah. And when I went downstairs, like to go to the toilet, you literally have to walk like through the kitchen where she has like massive pots with like wow. everything cooking. Wow. So when I got home, I was like, my mum was like, you smell of like a kitchen. And I'm like, yep. 
That sounds amazing. I that want that Indian food. Yeah, it was really good. I'm definitely going to go because, again, because it was so, so good. <laughs> I love a chickpea curry. There's like a, a curry soup then. We'll see there's a curry soup for you. Yay! <laughs> and there's definitely your French onion, although it's not called French onion because there's no friends, but there's an onion it's soup. It's Corinthian onion soup. Ooh, I don't like onion soup. Then again, I'm allergic to red onion. So. None for you. None nope. for me. Don't know why, I'm fine with normal, like, white onion, but red onion, nope, an allergic reaction. That's strange. Yeah, yeah. It was such a shame, though, because when Haley was here, we went to the Canadian bar um, for food here, and literally, she bought, like, something with, like, I think it's like cilantro yeah. or something that she bought and it had, she forgot that there was red onion in it. So it meant I couldn't eat any of it. Oh, so maybe pico? Something like that. It come, it's, it's like fries with like a garnish on it or something. Oh. Um, so I was just like, that's fine. I'll just have my haggis poutine over here and you can have that over there and I'll have the vegan burger and you can have all the stuff with red onion in it. <laughs> so, no. The Canadian bar here is amazing. I love it. <laughs> I love that you have a Canadian bar. It's hilarious. I know. I love that your girlfriend comes from Canada and eats at the Canadian bar in Scotland. Yeah, I took her there. <laughs> I was just like, let's go! And then we could have like a natural moose head lager. And I was like, this is amazing. Yeah, a moose head is good. Because, like, the last time I had a moose head was at Acon. Well, or no, actually, I had one when I was there in 2020, no, 2019. But still, it's been a long time. <laughs> so, well, it's owned by a Canadian guy. He, he set it up, so it's pretty cool. So if All you right. get a chance to go to it, go to it in Edinburgh. It's a good. <laughs> Next time I'm in Edinburgh, I'm gonna go. I mean, I'm gonna have some fish and chips, so definitely there's a good place for chips. Fish and chips, yeah, chippy, a good chippy. Mm -hmm. But you need it with the chippy sauce. What is chippy sauce? It's oh, basically actually. brown sauce with like vinegar and water. It's great. I love it. Oh, I love vinegars. I like um, malt vinegar. So if you put like vinegar and like brown sauce, like brown ketchup, um, like mixed together. I love how they're talking about brown sauce like that exists in the United States. Yeah, I don't know what brown sauce is. You have to go oh. to the special like British British food section of the grocery store. Well, like when you see, you say ketchup, but we would say tomato sauce when you say ketchup. So, but like to you, tomato sauce is like a bolognese sauce, I'm guessing. Yes. Yeah. But no, to us it's like ketchup. So brown sauce, I need to actually figure out what's actually in brown sauce. So brown, I'm going to call it brown ketchup even it's though it's like not a, made of tomatoes. It's like a weird fruit sauce that's spicy. Brown right. sauce is made of tomatoes, molasses, dates, apples, tamarind spices, vinegar and sometimes raisins. The taste is either tart or sweet with a peppery taste similar to Worcestershire sauce. I want it! I love Worcestershire Shire sauce. <laughs> that. <laughs> Worcestershire. Wa or as I heard it on TikTok the other day, wash your sister sauce. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite crisps are Worcestershire ones. <laughs> yeah, because well, I uh, brown sauce is basically Brown sauce is very similar to that. So, mm, that sounds um, so basically it? brown sauce, vinegar, mix it together and it's like slightly more like watery in texture and then you it goes over your fish and chips and it's amazing it's the best that sounds good i would try it i really just prefer prefer a malt vinegar and then we've got okay. deep fried mars bars all right so should we go interview these fucking guards i don't <laughs> yes. know like oh we're going back to that <laughs> oh i thought we'd what? finish the game no. Uh, I thought we were going to take a break from the game because I feel like that's going to start a whole fight scene. No. No, the guards were just questioning him and then we're going to be done. Like we did before. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I thought the session was over. That's why I was like... I did too. I was like, what? Shush. Food. Alright, let's go question the guards. We're food no. talking. We ate lunch, now we're going to go question the guards. 
Oh, oh, okay. Get it up, Torn. Uh, all right. <laughs>